Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, but after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Metro 2033, and that's uh, a stinky thing. Mushrooms and stuff. And you even take like random radiation damage as well, and why is my light blinking? Who knows? Oh, this is a fun and interesting little tunnel. Cold, who goes there? Stand still. Hey, loosen up. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. Free, finger quotes. Subjective to your definition of free. Careful, kid. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Just some friendly advice. Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy never sleeps. Face to the wall. This is an inspection. Hey, come on, quit harassing me. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolt yet. Prepare for inspection. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny. It's glowing. Must be the radiation, huh? Go to <laughs> hell. You freak. <laughs> uh, hell. So, you kick the part that attracts you the most? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Uh, uh, pretty weak, though. What, they don't feed you enough? Hi, <laughs> he's a fucking comedian. I don't see many of those guys. Try this on for size, you punk. The cloth. Uh, oh, okay, that one was better. But I still think my grandmother could take you. <laughs> Let's bring it's him close. in. We'll see how Why? his jokes sound at Lubyank. Hush! And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest. Alright, alright! Lay off! I'll come quietly. I still have to shoot! shit! Win! I'm gonna kill him! Go! Come on! Follow me! Be careful, idiot! Uh oh. Now it's a little bit of a run. What did I get myself into? You know, I'm not really with this guy. Uh, I don't know what his deal was, but, you know, I apologize. So basically, I have to run through stuff. As far as I know, I, yeah, you can't really bring out your guns. Yeah, he's dead, unfortunately. Still a goat left in our world. That day he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend Andrew the blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. 
Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. So they have um, this thing right here, which is uh, uh, it's like an automatic shotgun kind of a thing. Uh, and I'm probably going to just take this one because I don't really know how this one actually performs. But uh, I'm actually going to sell actually these two weapons. And you can actually sell stuff in this game. It's, um, it's a little interesting. And I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. We're just going to look around. Uh... Hey. Authorized personnel only. I don't you know, I don't really get why they're so paranoid, I guess about the Nazis or something. Um we know how they came in. Like I've actually wondered that about this this game. It's infiltrated one of the red stations, they say. The service is on alert. So that guy ain't going to last a day there. They're referring to me. Authorized personnel Our only. Security is like a sieve. The station is crawling with the enemy spies, plotting terrorist acts. There's a saboteur lurking in every alley, I tell you. No reason for panic. We've sealed our border with the Come on! Alright, so they have a uh, couple of uh, couple of weapons here. Throw your junk away. That's for babies. Uh, I don't need this one yet. Whatever. Uh, which one is it? It's the Helsing, I think. I, I want the thing that gives me the most amount of ammunition, and this would be the the duplet, I think. Yeah. And then now I'm, I'm gonna go get the other one because I don't really want actually this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Even how much uh, ammunition do I have, anyways? Guess we'll find out in a minute. I want to keep the auto. Uh, shoddy, so it's it's my best option. I don't know. I don't really know what else he gives, though. It's like it's a pneumatic, the, pneumatic. Uh, the 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 Thear or whatever gives me a lot of money too. Great I have five hundred. I have five hundred bullets. Not too shabby. I like that. A lot of a lot of currency. But uh, I'll show you what I'm doing in just a minute. So I'm, I'm bringing back my combat shotgun. So I'm going to have this guy. Uh, so it's still running the combat shotty. I, I'm trying to get, I'm going to try and just keep it to end game because it just seems like a good idea. Because I, I don't feel that like the DLC stuff was really valuable. This is what I'm going to get right here. Because you know me, I wouldn't not have a sniper weapon. So I'm going to grab this guy. This guy's gonna come in real handy. Uh, and how many knives do I have? I have all five. Okay. As you wish. Okay, so we're good with that. We are never doing that thing again, because <laughs> this thing sucks. This thing's fine. Uh, what's this one? This is 44, which is uh, Magnum, so I should get a little bit. I have a ton of ammunition, anyways. Ball bearings, I you no longer need. And a little bit more for the... I know there's a lot of uh, 545, but I'm probably going to need it. I'm telling you that now. And I have a lot of shotgun ammo, so... Actually, wait, why do I have... Your ammo? Oh, 16. Jeez. Deal. It's really cheap ammo, too. It's the same I'm really not doing pneumatic uh, things. And that's it. That's uh, all we need. Uh, except for this. So, uh, then there's these two guys. Um... One of them is selling, this is stealth armor, and one's selling heavy armor. So usually by the end I'm going to get heavy anyways, but just for fun, we can do stealth at the very beginning here. At least for the next little part, bit, which is which I kind of find to be fun, so let's, let's do one that. One of a kind, you won't find it anymore. Great raid. I've heard people say that they stack, that's what some people are telling me. I don't think they do. I really don't. Um, I'm going to be more vulnerable with this, uh, but I'm going to be less visible with that as well. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that's essentially what I'm doing. I, I don't think they stack at all. Uh, I've, I haven't noticed that at all. That guy's like grenades back there. I could totally take those. All right, well, that's all I wanted here. I, I think I'm good. Uh, there's really not much else here that I want, so we're basically done. 
It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, up to him. Oh, I guess there's nothing else for me to do here. Alright. Oh, let's go into the hole. Fellas? So I'm getting the best seat in the house. Could be on the railway car. Best seat in the house. And this is where the game actually really starts to pick up. You see that luggage hold? Get into it. Huh? So, what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? In case you didn't see the book before, they shut it right in front of your face. I don't really know why they have all this crap down here. How they wouldn't see me because this is rather obvious. Oh well. Just enjoy the ride. Hey Andrew, is it really safe in there? I wouldn't like to see him fall down onto the rails. Now that's no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. He'll be going straight to the Bianca, and that's a one way ticket. <laughs> Okay, pick it up. It's okay. It's all up to you now. Good luck. Attention, attention. Military personnel are in my Hello, Sergei Sergeyevich. I have a neighborhood kid here, station. eager to fight. A true soldier for your cause. We are always looking for young people who embrace our communist ideals. Very well, son. You'll be issued a weapon and uniform immediately. Now, get on the train. Attention! Civilians are not permitted to board troop trains Ideals? without written orders <laughs> from the Commissar. What they really Those want attempting to are sheep who raise death. Four of board train 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 Sorry, or I didn't mean to spoil the dreams of glory. Without authorization, will be arrested for treason. Take your places, everyone. Attention! The train is ready to depart. All troops under travel orders must board without delay. Any frontline soldier who remains on the platform after the train has left the station will be charged with desertion and shot. Why did you join the army? I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for the doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, love. Is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. Sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. It's dark. Very dark game. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I've heard they once fought another war, and that the Nazis lost. No 
тобой кровавый, стой и правый. Пошла вперед, рабочий народ. Alright, we're going this way first, and I, I have a night vision goggles. Fancy, huh? Uh, okay, and I have my little sniper rifle here. So, uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to come a little closer first. So right over there, that's where kind of the front lines are. Uh, I should not shoot this guy though, because uh, he's gonna hurt. But this is a very quite good sniper. And I probably should reload reloaded this. And this is a this is a stealth uh, sniper too, on, on top of it all. So, and so um, on the top, you can actually see my uh, my status for uh, uh, my cloak. So, uh, well, my my how stealth I'm being. And then that, and this is nice. The, the watch also tells you, but. Um, uh, let's see. I, if I kill this guy in the neck, he'll die. That's a very reliable way of doing it. So the helmet is not as reliable. Uh, so uh, obviously, if you've ever played any sort of stealth game, uh, it's green is good. No bars is the best. Uh, so when I go like this, so red was I was being extremely visible, and right here I'm like really not as much. Uh, but there's no one up here actually that's gonna really cause me a problem right now. We got a bit of ammo from that. There's also apparently, these are night vision goggles, uh, in case you decided to not have night vision goggles for whatever reason. So, just making sure everything's loaded. And it's a little weird, the night vision mode, I know. Uh, and it's also powered by your flashlight, so right now it's almost done. But uh, you know, I'm sure I'm sure you guys can. Well, it's kind of just how it is. It's it's a very immersive game. And that's why I like the fact that it doesn't have any UI. All right, let's start. Uh, okay, so they're they're starting to head down there. Okay, just making sure my my flashlight is off. And you you can occasionally hear like like stray bullets. It's kind of freaky. And I, I was hoping actually this thing would be something I could open. So. Um, Get used to the color turquoise, because that's uh, what these weapons kind of use. And they're going to have a... Well, actually, we'll start it off by a... Uh, see, so I, I know most of the patrols, because I did do this on my own on my own on my stream. It's not... Uh-oh. Uh wait. They, he maybe knows where I am. I think they know I'm here. So you can tell if they're alerted by when these lights come on. These ones are here because they, they turn on additional lights. Um, they get alerted very quite easily. Yeah, this guy knows. Okay, they know I'm here. However, it doesn't actually matter because... Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter as much as you think, actually, because, uh, you know, even though I'm not playing... You can play this game in a 100% in a stealthy mode, but I died. Well, uh, talking more about the uh, stealth mechanics of this game. Um, wait. Oh, I thought that was like a hole in the wall. I can get this guy. This guy didn't seem to really care. Huh. Wait, why am I? Why is my crap yellow? So. Um, yeah, you can do it 100% stealthy, or you can choose not to. It's ultimately up to you. Let's listen to these guys. I can't really hear them. They're, they're basically having a conversation about... Um, I, I thought you could shoot out the lights without anyone noticing. Do you notice how my thing goes up to yellow? That's weird. I I guess whenever I shoot, I become more visible for just a second. I didn't actually know that. 
Okay, well, we're, we're gonna go loot these guys that we did kill, because we did kill them, and it's worth it. I don't really know how they both didn't notice that. There's also a little bit of a, a weapon right here. Oh, I'm not, I'm not crouching, apparently. Whenever I load, I'm not crouching. It's, uh, interesting to note, because that's, uh, kind of how I maintain myself. I'll remember that for the future. I'm not sure why I don't get good karma for that, because I'm I, I, that counts as me technically, uh... Alright, I ain't get this guy. We got him. I, I, like, when you listen to these conversations, it, it, I guess that didn't count because I actually walked away. I think, because I remember getting good karma for that one. Well, let's take out that one. Yeah, I have to be very careful. Oh, dear God. I just noticed it goes yellow every time. By the order of the Revolutionary Tribunal, this cowardly knight has been sentenced to death. I kill them and then they go check to see if there's a manhole there. What a bunch of dicks. Uh, it's really hard to see this. Oh god. I... Did he not notice I was here? Apparently not. That is surprising. I thought I, thought I was screwed there. I'm seeing, uh, I, I'm seeing like a flashlight here. It's worrying me just slightly. I thought, I thought you'd get good karma for actually listening to these people, but apparently not. I'm not sure why that doesn't count. I, I, maybe I was supposed to stop them from executing him, I'm not too sure. Right, let's try this up slightly more. Hey comrades, have you heard what happened yesterday? I was there and almost got my head blown off. I'll have a nightmare for the rest of my life. If we make it, that is. I was in the field hospital yesterday. What went on? Those Nazi bastards hit us with a pack of suicide bombers. Is there really someone ready to die for them? Oh, shit. Now the poor fuckers have that hands tied behind their backs. They come running towards a roadblock with the Nazis machine gunning the hell out of them from the back. Our guys thought some comrades had escaped the Nazi prison. What happened next? They were yelling and screaming, but no one could make it out. Nazi bitches had cut their tongues out. Jesus. When our soldiers went to help, they saw the runners were wearing full fucking suits of TNT. Somebody said, hit the deck. I barely made it. Seven guys in their unit died and blown to hamburger. Four bombers killed men from the Nazi prison. Seven? The last time I heard it was six. Vanna died this morning. His belly was all torn up. But he fought to the end. How could a man do this to another? There, now I got good karma. Still can take him out. I don't think I should take him out because I think there's someone behind him there.
This guy has some good good items though. All right, let's see who we got. There's a couple of guys right there. Um, so I can choose to break stealth at this point and and kind of just come on out. Let's go kill this guy in the face though. And they just, oh. Surprisingly, they, uh, that none of them have figured it out yet. What the hell? How did you not notice? Fucking hell. I love stealth. Oh shit, I think they know. Alright, let's go back here. I didn't have that many left to kill, so it's okay. And then, it's, it's kind of nice. I like the fact that you can just take off the, the night vision goggles. Like, I, I just, I literally just turned them off. And, and like, it, the thing is, you are sacrificing field of vision, technically, but it's not, like, a huge deal, because to begin with, um, I, I raised my FOV, right? And there's some shit down here. We're gonna go there in a minute, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be a little careful here. Can't actually tell if someone's over there. I think now we got them all. Uh, anyways, we're gonna leave it off here for today. Uh, I think I got them all, so we're gonna do a little bit of looting and then we're gonna go to the other side tomorrow. So I'll see you later. Bye.